A recent incident has revealed the first known operational use of the P-35 missile, 3M44 Progress, by the Russian Federation in an assault against Ukraine. Evidence of this attack is found in the form of debris, the images of which have surfaced on the Internet. Evidence of the huge missile, known to NATO as the SSC-1B Seppel, having been used in this way points to the fact that Russia is increasingly making use of much older weaponry in this conflict as well as using missiles in roles for which they were not primarily designed. Years before Russia's all-out invasion of Ukraine began, the war zone highlighted how this weapon was still in use. Photos showing the wreckage of the missile began to appear on social media yesterday. Unconfirmed reports suggest that the weapon was brought down by Ukrainian air defenses, although this hasn't been independently verified. It's also unclear where and when the missile came down. Also unknown is how the missile was launched. Truck-mounted launchers and a unique bunker system in Crimea, as seen in the video below, are the two options. What does appear to be certain is that this is an example of the SSC-1B-7, a missile not previously known to have been used in the conflict. Apart from its considerable size, salient features of the missile include its cigar-shaped body with an engine air intake below it and highly swept wings that deploy after launch. Different online sources have identified the missile by its Russian designation, either as AP-35, AP-35B, or A3M-44. All of these missiles are related, look superficially similar, and have been used to arm coastal defense systems, collectively known in the West as SSC-1B Seppel. The P-35B anti-ship missile began to be fielded for coastal defense in the early 1960s and had a reported effective range of 168 miles. Powered by a turbojet engine, plus two solid-fuel rocket boosters for launching, the P-35B weighs around 4.6 tons and has a length of approximately 33 feet. By the early 1980s, the P-35B coastal defense missile was being superseded by the 3M44, with a reported effective range of 286 miles, plus the option of a nuclear payload instead of the standard 2,000-pound conventional warhead. Returning to the missile wreckage, it seems likely that this is the 3M44, although it's also possible that stocks of the older P-35B may have been retained. Either way, the missile would have been directed against a land target, rather than a ship, since Ukraine currently operates no large naval vessels. It's worth noting that these missiles are part of an extensive family, the development of which began in the 1950s, at the Chelomey Design Bureau, starting with the P-5. Known to NATO as the Sulfur Monosulfide N3 Shattuck, these liquid-fueled missiles were ultimately fielded in a variety of roles, including for tactical anti-shipping and strategic strike. They were used to arm warships and submarines, as well as coastal defense systems, both mobile and static. Ship and sub-launched versions of the family, lumped together by NATO as the sulfur monosulfide N3 Shattuck, have long been withdrawn, 
but Russia does still use the SSC-1B Sepal coastal defense versions of the same basic missile. The Western reporting names for these missiles are something of a minefield, having been assigned out of sequence compared to when the missiles were actually fielded and not properly reflecting the developmental relationships between them. This reflects the limited intelligence available at the time. These missiles were, as of late 2020, still used to protect the strategic port of Sevastopol, as part of a static coastal defense anti-ship missile system known as Utes. The Utes comprises a hardened battery that's built into the cliffs near Balaclava, overlooking the maritime approaches to Sevastopol. Two twin-tube missile launchers, located 3.7 miles apart, are concealed within an underground bunker when not in use, protected by huge metal doors. All in all, this is an impressive installation, as we described in the past. While a missile launch from the Utes site in Crimea is a distinct possibility, the P-35B and 3M44 are both also used in a road mobile coastal defense system, known as Reddit. A missile could also have been launched from one of these vehicles, which would be much more flexible and survivable than the Utes. However, the current status of the truck-based Reddit with the Russian armed forces is unclear. In a 2022 assessment, the International Institute for Strategic Studies IISS, stated only that some examples were still in use. Bearing in mind a launch from the fixed site at Balaclava and the reported 286-mile range of the 3M44, even this improved version of the missile would likely only be able to reach Ukraine targets around the Kherson region, although this is an area that has seen heavy Russian bombardment by other means. <laughs>